What's going on, everybody? My name is Stanley with Statter Cells. I'm excited to be with you. And today in the new iteration of the Objection series, you are going to be hearing about features. This is one of those things that you're going to run into if you were selling homes, selling policies, selling space, whatever you might be selling, whatever that product is, someone is going to come to you because something that you're offering is attracting them, but maybe what you have doesn't check all the boxes for them when it comes to the features that they're looking for. So if I'm selling wedding space, someone might have a very specific image in mind, and if I don't have that space, I might not be a good fit for them. And we've talked about before, if you're not a good fit for somebody, let them walk away and find what is best for them if that is what's best for the buyer. But a lot of times, as sales professionals, our job is to paint a picture for that buyer and help them see that the features that we do have We'll check a lot of the boxes for them and you might just be able to paint a different image in their head that actually works out better for them. So today that's what we're going to be talking about. So how does that work when I'm buying a house? So I have somebody walks in my door in my sales center and they might go, you know, my husband and I are looking for a wide open floor plan. We're looking for 10 foot ceilings. We want sliding glass doors. We want the big custom pool. We want this type of tile, right? Somebody who's very focused and very knowledgeable about what they already want. A lot of times this can be a difficult buyer to sell to, especially in today's market where a lot of builders are going to straight inventory. They're not doing the design centers like they once were, or if they are doing those design centers, they're limiting the options. So how do you sell through this as a sales professional? Well, one way in which I used to do that was I would listen to them in the, in the discovery period, right? During welcome and rapport. I wanted to find out things that didn't necessarily have to do with the nitty gritty parts of the home, right? Maybe the husband wants quartz countertops that look a certain way. I got to have Calcutta gold or I got to have Lyra countertops, right? Or maybe the wife goes, you know what? I have to have the big yard. It's a huge deal to me. Right? These are types of things that, that might be a non-negotiable for them, but what I would try to do is find those things that were negotiable, and then when we got in the home, I would paint a picture based on the deep-rooted things. You see, a countertop is a fruit. A, a big yard is a fruit idea, and what I mean by that is this. What the wife is really saying when she says, I want a big yard, is she's saying, I want space for my family to grow. Right? I want space for my husband and I to take a walk in our own backyard. I don't want to feel like I'm right next to my neighbors. I want the American dream of a big yard. Right? The husband might be saying, with the countertops, I really want those nice countertops. Fruit. Root, he might be saying, I want my friends to come over and feel like we make money. I want them to feel like we're important. I want my friends to have an area where we can entertain and be proud of that space. That's the root of what he's asking for. So the countertop in the grand scheme of things might matter very, very little if you can still address what he or she is really getting at. And so that's one of those things that I learned very early on in my sales career and it helped me tremendously when I was selling. So I'd get on the floor and, and the, the husband might say, yeah, I gotta have those Calcutta gold quartz countertops. It's a must for me. And I'd say, well, can you tell me a little bit more about that? And what I talk about in, in my sales teaching and things like that is question the objection. Don't just try to overcome it. Question it. Seek to understand it. Well, what about the Calcutta really stands out to you? Is it the color? No, not really. It's not really the color. It's just a really prestigious looking countertop. Okay, well, awesome. Well, I don't have the Calcutta, but I do have a countertop that I think is going to give you the same appearance, the same prestige that you're looking for, but it's actually going to save you like two to $3,000. Let me at least show it to you. If you don't like it, no worries, but let me at least show it to you. Nine out of 10 times, I would show them that countertop and on the way to showing it to him, I would be talking it up. Oh, this countertop's my favorite. My wife and I actually have it in our house. It's a gorgeous countertop. Every time people come over, they love it. It's also super durable because I know you guys entertain a lot. So you're gonna have those wine spills, right? We're gonna have that charcuterie board. It's gonna go a little wild on us on a Friday night. This is gonna be a good place for you guys. It's easy to clean. It's great maintenance. Wait till you guys see it. And then I'd open the door and man, it would grab them like that. See, the thing was, is I understood it's not the Calcutta gold that he's after, it's the prestige. If I'm looking at the wife, and the wife is saying, you know, hey, that backyard matters to me. You know, what do you mean by the backyard matters so much to you? Obviously, you know, you got this huge home. Why the backyard? Why is that such a focal point for you? 
And then the wife would say, you know, honestly, we're planning on having some kids. I want to have privacy from our neighbors, but I also want a place for our dogs to run, for our kids to play. We, listen, I've got a backyard. It's not massive, but it is right next to the amenity center, which would check the box for your kids to be able to play. And you're still going to have a tremendous backyard. It's just not the biggest thing in the world. Let me show it to you and let me at least paint a picture of what it could be. Nine out of 10 times, once I show them a different type of way that they can live in that space, they would be so, so excited. So what am I really getting at? It's the 80% rule. So one of the things I would get people, if, if that, those things were working, but maybe they weren't totally on board, I'd hit them with the 80% rule, which you might be saying, well, what is that? So I'd say to everybody, say, hey, listen, the truth is buying a house is like buying anything else. You are never going to find the perfect product. You might find that great pair of jeans. You might find that car that you really, really like, but it's not going to be 100% perfect because nothing is. So what I believe in is in real estate, you have to abide by the 80% rule. And the 80% rule is this. If the home checks 80% of our boxes, buy that home right away because you'll never find a home that checks 100 and 80% of your 100 is a phenomenal percentage. If you live and you coach and you help train and you sell from that standpoint, people are going to want to listen to you and they're going to go, you know what, you're right. There, is, there isn't a perfect Lululemon. There isn't a perfect BMW. At the end of the day, everything has its failures, has its faults. But if I can find something that checks 80% of those boxes for me and my family, that is a phenomenal investment. And that is where you can really grab somebody, even if you don't have the features that they're exactly looking for, your job as a salesperson is to paint the picture for them and show them, hey, listen, even though we don't have everything, we've got 80%, and that is a phenomenal percentage. You need to move forward on this house now. I hope this video helped you guys. It is one of my favorite topics to talk about because it is tricky and it is tough. And if you're in sales, I know you've encountered this. I want to hear your stories out there. How do you get through those objections? If you're in wedding sales or venue sales, if you're in pharmaceuticals and your you know, feature or your product doesn't have everything that that buyer is looking for, how have you swung them in the past? Drop a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Guys, we really appreciate all the support. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.